Good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 14th, 2023, and it is day number 430 in my fasting journey and day number 73 in my exercise journey. So these days I'm doing OMAD where I have a meal every morning around 7 and then when I finish my food I fast until the next morning around 7. So I am due for a refeed very shortly and what I'm going to have this morning is black beans. So I'm actually going to veer off course with my meal. I usually have a low carb protein heavy meat refeed but as of recently I've been wanting black beans and so I'm gonna splurge today and so what I'm gonna have is a can of Eden brand black beans I'm gonna season them with salt and garlic powder and I'm gonna mix in to the black beans some sauteed onions a vine ripened tomato that I'll chop up into like really um you know tiny um pieces and um some cilantro so I'll add lots and lots of cilantro because I love cilantro so much. And I'll also add some jalapenos to kind of like give the beans a little bit of spice. And I'll also add in a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil. I use Partana brand. And so I'll cook it kind of like slowly <clears throat> on the stove today and that will be my refeed. And I'm definitely assuming the risk when I have this meal because whenever I consume beans, it causes some digestive issues. And so to kind of like mitigate those issues, I'm going to drink an apple cider vinegar drink, which will consist of 16 ounces of ice water, a shot glass of lime juice, and half a shot glass of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And so I'll mix that all in together. And once upon a time, I used to put like stevia in this drink to kind of like sweeten it and make it taste a little bit better. but these days I'm trying to stay away from stevia because whenever I consume stevia it usually causes issues with my weight and I also kind of like um, feel like intense nausea and headaches. So I'm trying to stay away from stevia and like all products that kind of like have stevia in them. So um, anyways, so I have read online that when um, you drink vinegar that it's probably best to kind of like drink it through a straw so that's what I'm going to do and the reason why is because I've read that it's pretty harsh on the teeth enamel and so when you drink it through a straw you kind of like bypass the teeth a bit. So that's my refeed today and in terms of my exercise. so. On Sunday, we lost an hour with, um, you know, as a result of daylight savings time. And I just found that I really struggled to get through yesterday. I was just like so tired. So when I came home from work, I did a yin yoga practice, which was definitely very relaxing and went straight to sleep without getting a bike ride in. And so um, I <clears throat> am going to try to do a bike ride pretty early this in the morning to you know um, get that over with so I don't kind of like have it lingering over my head today and so that's kind of like my plan for today. So um, what I wanted to talk about in today's video is so in yesterday's video I mentioned that I'm going to start telling myself this new story. I'm going to start telling myself why I can do certain things and I'm going to let go of the old story um, that the old kind of like limiting story that says I can't like do certain things and so a lot of us have made the kind of like decision to start telling us uh, ourselves kind of like these better stories. And what I wanted to kind of like share with you today is what like happens when you first decide that you're going to tell yourself a new story. So basically what will happen is that you'll notice that the old story is kind of like surfacing like everywhere. Um, you'll notice that you kind of like repeat it like um, like maybe a lot more than usual. Um, you'll um, kind of like maybe notice like proof in um, your reality of like the old story being like real and like true. You may even have kind of, um, people coming up to you and asking you about the old story. And so... When this used to happen to me, I would get like so annoyed and like so frustrated. But these days when this happens, I get like really, really excited. And the reason why is because basically this is kind of like a sign that you have successfully planted that new story in your mind. And the old story kind of like knows that it's in serious danger of being on its, um, you know, on its last leg that it's on its way out and so it basically it's trying to like cling to life and do everything and anything in its power to kind of like stay alive and so basically what you want to do is when kind of like the old story surfaces and it usually surfaces with a vengeance is that you kind of like want to say yes to it 
just kind of like welcome it up, say yes to it. And the reason why you want to say yes to it is because that kind of like um, releases it um, uh, from your mind. And um, it may not like happen overnight. It, um, it's kind of like an onion that you release a little bit of the old story. And but, um, you know, maybe later another like layer of the old story kind of like surfaces. So um, you may have to like do this continuously for a little while. But if you just kind of like persist in saying yes to the like um, old story, you're going to um, release, um, completely release it eventually from your system. And um, you'll get to a place where um, it doesn't really um, have any like effect on you. And so you want to say yes to it rather than say no to it, because like when you say no to it, you push it down and um, you don't want to do that. So say yes to the old story to let it go and to release it. Just welcome it up. Welcome all the feelings and like the thoughts and like the emotions that um, are associated with the story. And um, just kind of keep saying yes to it to kind of like get that out of you. But anyways, so um, after you have kind of like realized that maybe you have told the old story um, or, you know, um, maybe give, believed in it a little bit, what you need to do is repeat to yourself the new story to kind of like, first of all, neutralize the old story and then like repeat um, the old, the new story, you know, several more times to kind of like add weight to the new story. And what you're trying to do is get to a place where kind of like the new story outweighs the old story. And when you kind of like get to this place where the new story outweighs the old story, um, basically then the new story is now your predominant story and you're going to see it showing up in your reality, like all over the place. And, um, it's going to become like a habit and that's going to be the story that's kind of like on automatic pilot. And so this, um, you know, it takes practice to kind of like, you know, successfully, um, I guess, implant the um, new story in your mind. And it's going to take repetition, but just persist. And eventually this is going to be your reality. Reality. This is going to be your truth. So um, just kind of like keep going with the new story. And um, whenever the new old story kind of like surfaces and, um, you know, pops up, just be happy. Just kind of like know that um, this is like a sign that, you know, you're successfully, you know, planting the seeds of the new story in your mind and just welcome that old story up. Say yes to it. And that will help um, it, it release from your system. And so I just kind of like wanted to share that with you today. Um, that's today's video. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Tuesday and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.